Why? I would, but you would. Shit! What's happening? Another glitch? Same one as before. Chase back and Notre Dame. See if you can complete the memory this time. Got it. Shay's in Paris, all right. I even got a date for you. 1776. At this point in time, Franklin was the American ambassador to France. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Otto Berg, professional killer and amateur historian. Charity! What are you doing? I have no quarrel with you! You, uncultured swine! You should not have left your backwater colony! Ouais, retourne à Boston! Shay? Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Thank you, Shay. Please, wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. How? How did you do that? It was quite... fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this... Uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the Royal Palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. That's the best we can do for now. We keep trying to sequence memories out of order, which is why we're crashing like this. What do you suggest? 
If we progress further with Shay's life in the colonies, I'm confident we can get better results from these Paris memories. Very well. Keep me informed. Uploading the next memory sequence now. Shay Cormac, I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you have seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them, and Haiti falls, or... Lisbon, or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity near Lueberg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the charts. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Gist, do you know why the Grand Master is so interested in Captain Cook? Well, sir, he's very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally, but watch what you say around him. Do you need a... The ice round is doing its job, Captain! I've heard... Could be a linchpin in the wall. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. Then on to Quebec and Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damn continent. I fear it would take more than that, friend. The HMS Pepper, Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man of war, fully up. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. for impact! Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac? Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it. If they launch this attack... Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real uh, firepower. I believe I shall, Captain.
Wolf, Lawrence, and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself, back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. Let any through. Captain, it is imperative we stop those ships. The outcome of the war. Refuse of your own mortar ship. Your crew crucial. I believe Master Kenway is correct, Captain. Mortars would be most advantageous right now. There's the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. And Awale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to the core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Gist. So was Elder Washington, and Smith. I rather enjoyed drinking with him. Wardrop, too. Though the man could not hold his liquor. He and Weeks never got along, you know. If you're trying to test my conscience, Guest, you've succeeded. We live in a time of war, but it's always wartime for us. I sound like my uncle Jedediah. He was an old sourpuss. Let me tell you. Another time, Guest. Hi, sir. CK! Change course, sir! Dark skies and rough seas there! Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. Adewale? Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed. Gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. Loose a trip to. to maneuver. Maneuverability is hardly the point. Well, I don't intend to find out the point. Let's stay out of her way. We can find our way around her. Just keep to the smaller rivers where she can't follow. And do try to remain unseen. We don't want to attract unwanted attention. 
Why would the French bring such a ship inland? As the war is drawing to its close, they're becoming desperate. They'll expend any efforts to gain firepower. No offense to Captain Cook, but that lady has more firepower than any I've had the pleasure of meeting. It's not really my type. Ah, but the French ones can have a certain charm. Did I ever tell you the story of Madame Vrenette? <laughs> that wasn't her real name. Point is, I think I know a safe place where we can depart. Sail on! So what's the plan? We bombard the fort? Foolhardy to simply storm that fort. Aye, we need to know what we're up against. I could take care of that. Indeed. I'll go to the fort. Find out what Adewale's doing there. Keep the Morgan close, Gis. I'll keep her close, and I'll keep her safe. Good luck, Shay. I make my own luck, Master Kenway. So, the Templars sent their dog after me. Time to test your metal shield. He's getting away. If only he'd stand still and fight me. Adwali is facing you on his own terms, picking the battlefield. And on his own ship, he is most at ease. Mind those martyrs! And we'll be swimming home tonight! This river's getting uncomfortably narrow. Don't you worry, sir. Shea has gotten us out of tighter scrapes before. And the lake ahead is a dead end. And a boy won't be able to get out. Fire! it is, Man of War can't follow us anymore. Fire! Yeah, Anna beached his ship! A novel tactic? He's saving his crew. No. He's making a last stand. Let's not disappoint him. I will take the high ground and provide a distraction. Find another way. Forgive me, Atawale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. Then I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. I cannot let him succeed. You have become 
A monster shape. Perhaps I have. Come. At this point, the war's not really over, but the French have lost their momentum in the colonies. The Templars can now focus entirely on the Assassins. They still have hundreds of men working for them in New York. Let us see what role Shea plays. <laughs> 